Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become... such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. Looking at the starting five for USA. We've got Durham. Lee out there with Jalen Green. Then there's Van Carroll. And it's Mobley in at the power forward. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in a bit where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. Here's Benton. Paolo Bancaro making his last shot. You brought up the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. And he can't get the first one. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. He hits the second from the line. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. And I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Team World shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. No good on the free throw. Wow, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Second free throw, no good. Down low. And Green with the basket on the assist from Van Carroll. And some players in the Rising Stars Challenge aren't especially well-known yet. But this young man is someone we've already become very familiar with. It has not taken him long to really establish himself in the league. I mean, he's been logging a ton of minutes. Shot clock at six. Here's Matherin. Comes up empty down low. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Mobley misses. On offense, here's Team World. It's a five-point game. Jovic passes to Banton. From outside the arc, a shot by Nemhard, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Green inside. Out to Lee. Mobley wide open. Knocks down the three ball. 
Yeah, how about the big fella stepping outside and showing us some range? Well, he gets some grief for that shot in a regular game, but in this setting, you're allowed that kind of latitude and freedom. Here's Benton over Lee. Benton's shot is off. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first mate. And Turin slams it in. And smart ball movement there from Bancaro. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. It's tipped. And so it looks like it's still a USA's ball. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. Now off the inbound and can't hit the shot. But they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. You know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for USA. Everything working for them inside so far, guys. Tons of high-quality shots that they're knocking down inside. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. That's off as well, so he misses both. Team World trails by 10. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Shingun, the lead pass was put in just the right spot. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Lee outside, out to the wing. Pass to Mobley. From 10 feet out. USA with another miss. On offense, here's Team World. Here's Matherin. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And using that body to his advantage, Matherin will learn to control his strength as he grows in the league. Now, here's Van Carroll. Here's Mobley, and he makes good on the layup. Mobley's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, great ball movement there. Here's Nemhard, guarded by Green. Nemhard, the pass to Banton. Here's Matherin. The tray. Duran pulls it in. Now USA with it. They're on a 13 to 5 run here. Mobley looking it over. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. And USA making a change here. Reeves is checked in. Team World trails by eight. Here's Banton. Now the pass to Nemar. Now Shangun. Good ball movement here by Team World. Lent it go with a three. Shangun. It's good on the putback. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Here's Reeves. That's to Lee. Launches a three. USA working now with the new shot clock. A lot of great plays being made here on the defensive end. That indeed is a rarity. The highlights are almost always on the offensive end of the floor in this event. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. Now here's Lee. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. For USA, they missed both of their free throws tonight. 0 for 2 so far. Saban Lee. At the line for two. two. 
That free throw from Lee is good. A platoon swap here for Team World. And so he hits both. Team World trails by eight. Here's Duarte. Wagner outside. Six to shoot. Let's it go from the wing. They get it back. And Jang gets it to go. And for this young man, this game is serving as kind of a coming out party, if you will. A lot of fans haven't seen him that often during the regular season. And that's one of the neat things about the Rising Stars Challenge. It's a way for some talented young players to get their first taste of the national spotlight. It's hauled in by USA. Here's Reeves. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Off with the layup. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Duarte passes to Wagner. It's good. The coaching staff encouraging Wagner to take these quick hitting shots. They think it helps his confidence moving forward. Passes it to Ben Carroll. Here's Wieskamp. Lays it up off the glass. And USA leads by six. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Now, here's Wagner. Good on the triple. Wagner's got five. Wagner always a threat from downtown. And I love the efficiency and solid mechanics of his shooting stroke. Got a piece of it. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Van Carroll. Here's Lee. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. Here's in with it. He's against Williams. Right at the free throw line. It's hauled in by USA. And Carroll's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Kicks it to Lee. Pass to Van Carroll. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Now here's Jang. He's covered closely. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. the line for Team World, Usman Jang. Two shots. He's off on the first. Jalen Suggs has checked in for USA. That one misses. Absolutely stone cold at the line thus far. And they need every point they can muster right now. They've got to cash in. Here. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the missed opportunities for them at the line here early on. And those can often come back to haunt you. They've got to focus and really make the most of the chances. This is his first free throw of the game.
First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And the pass to Sharp. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by USA. And Carroll's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Wieskamp from past the arc. Traps in the tray. Wieskamp's got five minutes. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now, here's Ben Carroll. Not a lot of room. Count the basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And here's Sharp. And he's good on the free ball. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11-0 run by USA. And it's USA. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll return shortly. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. Slight on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. On the court for USA. Green is up there with Suggs. Then it's Durant. Then it's Evan Mobley. And it's Wieskamp in at the three spot. Here's Suggs following the bucket by Team World. Here's Wieskamp, and the layup's good off the glass. Wieskamp's got seven. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Nemhard, pass to Sharp. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Oh, gritty play by Sharp inside. Defense puts contact on the rookie, and he still gets it to fall. Reese Camp, the pass to Suggs. Pass to Duran. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And USA leads by 11. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. The pass to Shengu. The shot's good. Eight points for him. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Well, it was a slow start, but they've gone from simmer to medium heat, and they're bordering on hot close this gap. Shots good by Green. That time the defense is all up in Green's business, but he can get physical just like they can. Pass to Matherin. From deep three-point range, Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his fourth rebound in this one. From deep, Green. The shot, no good. And Team World will come the other way. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Shengun passes to Matherin. It's hauled in by USA. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. 
Suggs kicks to Mobley. Passes to Wieskamp. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. Suggs with the ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. They get the rebound. USA leading by 11. And the wide open shot from Green. During the pass to Green. USA working now with the new shot clock. Shots good by Durin. Durin's got four points in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Man. <laughs> He's a natural athlete, very explosive. Here's Nemhard to stop the drought, and it's good on the way in. Sharp's got seven points. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. So, timeout called here, the first for USA. checked in and USA also making a switch Lee's checked in now here's Suggs T right on him Nemhard grabs the board Team World trails by 13 to the wing on the left now Shangun eight points for him Durin pulls it in. Durin's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Lee kicks to Suggs. Back to Lee. Fires from deep. Kept alive. Second chance shot. Shot's good by Durin. Durin's got six in the quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Fires the three, trains the three-pointer. And Matherin proving he can be unselfish, wanting to find his teammates. To the paint, here's Lee. And the layup is good after a nice Lee pass. Lee's got eight points. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Benton. Mobley with the block! Now here's Lee. And he banks in the layup. He's got 10. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. Team World trails by 16. Lee with the steal. Outside, Green. From downtown. Yes, it's good. Good for basket number four. He's now four for ten. Hey, this team has great confidence in Green's ability to connect from deep. It's really about getting him quality looks. And now the first time out called here for Team World. 
Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And USA making a change here. Reeves is checked in. Here's Banton. There's the pass to Jovic. Lock at six. Pass to Matherin. Team World with another miss. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. violation. Williams is checked in for Durham. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. And Wagner's got the ball here for Team World. Trailing by 19. Zhang to halt the run. It's hauled in by USA. On the wing, Green. And Green slams it in. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Now here's Lee. Mobley outside. Here's Reeves. He's defended by Wagner. Five on the clock. The kick out to Williams. Another three for USA. It's sort of a, a revelation this season. He's quickly established himself as one of the league's top young players. And that's always impressive to see because there were a lot of people who had their doubts about it. But he seems to thrive on proving those people wrong. He's off to a good start. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Green, the pass to Reeves. Mobley outside. And here is Green. Well, Jalen Green is a product of G League Ignite and clearly showing other folks there's a new path for potential lottery picks to take. USA shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The first free throw is good. And Carroll's checked in for USA. And both free throws good for Green. And it's Team World with the ball. Two minutes. Wagner outside. And Team World another three. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. A minute 50 left in the first half. On the wing, Lee. Here's Reeves. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Paolo Bancaro. That's foul number two for him. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Pass to Orte. We've got 128 left in the first half. Here's Banton, covered by Lee, and it goes down two points. Benton's got nine points. USA leading by 18. To the right side. Bancaro kicks to Lee. Reeves the pass to Lee. Green with the ball. No good from outside. Here's Benton. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. There's 39 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Green. 
Cranes it from nine feet away. He's got 15. Wow. Unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here's Banton, covered by Lee, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Second personal foul, first team foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Taking two shots. First one falls for and USA making a change here. Reese Camps checked in. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And now USA on the break. With some art, and it's good on the layoff. And USA leads by 19. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the tier drop. Wagner outside. Fires the three, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. USA leads by 19, and we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO. Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. The Rising Stars game has become such a special part of All-Star Weekend. We couldn't have a better showcase for the incredible players that are just getting their NBA careers underway. Just think of all the plays that these young players have in front of them. Well, you got to love this game. You really get to compare these guys as they go head to head. And they enjoy it, too. Some of them, honestly, have already played against each other in high school and college. Hey, Kenny, you and I have watched these guys develop along the way. Incredible accomplishments. You're looking to a principal, the future of this league. Those guys. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, brother. 